and a good morning to you. And we're here in Burnaby this morning at the Wildlife Rescue Association, where this morning on Breakfast Television, it's all about the babies. Up next, we feed and weigh some Pacific wrens. Stay with us. You're watching Breakfast Television. Yeah, thanks very much. What's sad news? Uh, definitely a great impact on everybody in the world. Uh, people that make a local impact, people that work at the Wildlife Rescue Association, where, Linda, we are all about the babies today. Mm -hmm, definitely. We've got lots of babies, um, birds, that is. These are four Pacific wrens that were found uh, in North Vancouver. Their nest had fallen down. Um, might be construction going on or nest uh, tree trimming or something like that. Um, and they brought it here. And what's Jennifer doing right now? So we do a daily checkup. We weigh them every day to make sure they're gaining weight every day. Uh, checking their body condition and their hydration is very important. How much should they weigh? So when you weigh them, are you seeing if they're underweight or if they're developing appropriately? Yeah, it's more about the weight gain. Um, of course, they have sort of a, a weight range when they're all grown up, but uh, they just need to gain weight every day because they, they grow so fast. Which is why it's important to feed them as well. So we're going to see that happen right now. And I can't imagine at this level or at this age that they're eating very much. <laughs> <laughs> well, they eat every 15 minutes as long as it's light out. So that's actually a lot of food uh, going in every day. And but, at what uh, point should you be able to release these? When they are able to eat on their own, fly really well, and um, behave, not show normal behavior so now they can find their own food. Now if someone comes across a nest, what should mm -hmm. they be doing? Um, basically nothing. Okay. Uh, if it's in a tree, perfect, leave it alone. Uh, if you find it on the ground, try to put it back up in the tree. That's actually the best thing to do. A uh, baby should be with their mother. If you find an, a baby on the ground and you think it's fallen out of the nest, you can put it back in the nest. Well, for anyone that has any questions at all, the best thing to do is always to call the Wildlife Rescue Association. More details on their website. But Jody and Riaz, how cute are these little guys? My goodness. With, with a duck call, how about that? We are here at the Wildlife Rescue Association outside of the duck pen. Coming up next, we'll learn a little bit about these guys. Also, how can you help support the rescue of wildlife in our city? Stay with us. You're watching BT. We'll be right back. And ducks, too. That's right. We're here in Burnaby at the Wildlife Rescue Association. Guys, thanks very much. And, Linda, we're now outside of the duck pen. Mm -hmm. uh, you really get all kinds of birds here. Yes. Uh, we get lots of mallard ducklings, though. We have 140 uh, at the moment in several pens. Uh, so 20 of them are here. Um, so they require a lot of um, manpower and resources to take care of them. They are here for five to six weeks. Um, volunteers come in first thing in the morning. You can see the water looks a little grubby, so they need to be cleaned. Uh, they'll drain the pool and clean up the food and uh, give them new food. So we feed them heads of lettuce, uh, romaine lettuce. Uh, we use about 40 heads a day. So that's one of the big things we need uh, on a daily basis. So how can people help? Are you looking for people to bring heads of lettuce or is it really cash for they you guys? They can definitely bring heads of lettuce, okay. but uh, of course we need other things as well, which are difficult for people to find. So uh, money would be excellent. Okay, so you need money. Of course, you also yeah. need volunteers as well. You talk about some of the great work that they mm -hmm. do here. What kinds of things would volunteers do at the Wildlife Rescue Association? So the animal care uh, volunteers help us feed and clean uh, every day all the animals. There's lots of cleaning involved because it gets very dirty very quickly. All the cages need to be cleaned out. But we also need people in the office, on their helpline, um, on the road to pick up animals. So transport is a big thing. And actually, yeah. we've had several viewers that over the years have seen the segments we've done and have volunteered. So thanks to everyone right. out there that has made their way to help. If you want to help the Wildlife Rescue Association, whether it's money or dropping off hay, heads of lettuce, or if you want to volunteer, you can go to wildliferescue.ca. But Michelle, how adorable are these? And speaking of keeping things healthy, that's what they do here at the Wildlife Rescue Association. And right now, Linda, what are we going to be seeing here? Um, five cute little chickadees who are a little bit older now. So they're starting to hop around and fly. Uh, but they still need to be hand fed every 15 minutes because their metabolism is really, really high. Oh my gosh, are they so ever cute. Don't do this at home if you find them. Always call us when you find a baby bird to see uh, what you can do. Now what kinds of things are they actually eating? 
Um, lots of uh, insects, actually. So we give them a high protein um, diet. It's a special uh, formula with lots of uh, nutrients and supplements and vitamins. And you do lots of education here as well at the Wildlife Rescue Association. Yeah, so uh, we like to educate people on the phone when they found an injured or a baby animal. Uh, and But we also like to start with children. So uh, we do a lot of uh, school programs. And in the summer, we have summer day camp, so the kids come here. Uh, they don't interact with the animals, but we teach them about wildlife uh, in their urban environment. Now, obviously, we deal with a lot of things like geese and ducks that make their way, obviously, mm -hmm. into, the, you know, they're in the parks, and why wouldn't they be? Um, animals, your own pets, approaching yeah. these, these, this yeah. wildlife is a problem, it's isn't it? It's a big it? problem, especially for cats. Um, so we always advise, keep your cats indoors. Uh, it's safer for them anyway. Um, they don't need to hunt. They will kill birds or injure them really badly, but they they don't need them for food anymore. So, And there's fantastic outdoor pens you can keep them in uh, so they can have a little bit of outdoor. Well, lots of great work that they do here at the Wildlife Rescue Association. Oh, Nelson, just stay on that. We're going to go to break right now. For more details on the Wildlife Rescue Association, go to wildliferescue.ca. A little time out here on BT, your news, weather traffic. That's all next. Stay with us. We're here at the Wildlife Rescue Association in Burnaby, and we've made our way into the songbird aviary. Coming up next, we'll meet a few robins and other birds. They're getting close to be released. Stay with us. You're watching BT. We'll be right back. Well, it's been a great morning here at the Wildlife Rescue Association. And right now, Linda, where exactly are we? We're in one of our songbirds aviaries where uh, robins and towies are getting ready for release. Uh, we've raised them here, but now they are able to fly on their own, eat on their own. Uh, we're just uh, giving them a little bit more time to grow up uh, before they can go. And how did they come to be here? How did they get brought in? Um, a lot of them are picked up by the public not knowing what to do. Um, sometimes their nest is destroyed, sometimes the mother is killed um, or injured by cats, for instance. <laughs> Um, so different uh, different reasons they come here and they come from all over the lower mainland. And so when you're looking at, for instance, being able to get them ready for release, at what point do you sort of determine, okay, they're good to go? Uh, when they show all their natural behaviors. Um, so they poke around in the dirt looking for worms. Uh, they can find berries off of branches and have a good flight. Uh, they can fly back and forth and back and forth without getting exhausted. Well, it looks like they're doing a good job right now. For more details on how you can help the Wildlife Rescue Association, whether it's donating food, money, they always need money. Or, of course, if you want to volunteer, you can check out their website at wildliferescue.ca.